Today we're going to review part number PK11932. This is the Pollock fifth wheel and gooseneck trailer connector wiring harness with the T connector. Now this T connector will plug into your OEM wiring harness underneath your vehicle. Helps provide a second seven way connector in the bed of your truck. It's great for trucks that are pulling fifth wheels or goosenecks that you can have a seven way right in the truck bed. The wiring harness length on this is about eight feet. And again, it is designed to plug into the OEM harness underneath the truck. No splicing is required. Basically what you would do is find the plug where the OEM harness ends, pull that plug out, connect this into that. It'll match up and plug in. And then this would go to the seven way at the back of the vehicle. Now, if you don't have a seven way and you need to install one, we do, this would work great with the Pollock seven way connector. We do sell separately on our website. It's part number PK11893. It is listed on this product page as a related product. And then once those are both connected, what you'll do is run this eight foot length of wire up to the truck bed. You'll need to drill a hole in the side of your truck bed uh, if you want to install it into the truck bed. And then just run this wire through there. And then once this is run through, you'll make your connection to this connector for a seven way to connect to that. Now the application on this harness is it will fit Chevy, GMC, and Ford trucks. It will also work on Dodge and Chrysler trucks when used with the Dodge Chrysler OEM plug adapter, and that's part number PK11933, and that's also sold on our website and listed as a related product. So once this is run up to the truck bed, what you'll do is, if you go to the product page on this part number, you'll see there's a wiring diagram picture, and it will show you the back of this socket right here, and it shows the numbers on it, and actually if you look real close, they are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the middle seven. And if you look at that the wiring diagram picture on the product page, it'll show you which colored wires, you'll see the colored wires here, will go into which number hole. So for instance, if you look at the middle hole, it's number seven. If you look on the, the wiring diagram, it'll say yellow wire, which is the reverse circuit. So you just find your yellow wire, and what you'll do is push that into the seven hole, which is the middle socket, once we get that lined up. You can see once you push it all the way in, it'll click and lock into place, and you'll do that with all the wires using the wiring diagram. And then once you get all the wires pushed in, all you do is take this locking ring, line it up over, and then push it down, and it'll lock all those wires in to keep them from coming out. Now by chance, if you happen to put a wire in and just found out, uh-oh, that's the wrong color in the wrong hole, what do I do now? It's very simple, just take a very small screwdriver, and right where the clip goes in, there's a little tab that if you just push on that tab, it'll unlock it and the wire will pop right out. It's very easy to do. So no worry if you get a wrong wire in the wrong hole, you just remove it and put it in the right one. <clears throat> but that should do it for the review on part number PK11932. This is the Pollock fifth wheel and gooseneck trailer connector wiring harness with the T-connector.